Right, now we're going to be learning the chorus of the song Angels by Sarah McLaughlin. The chorus has six different chords, but some are used more than once to create the progression that is played twice through to make one chorus. The right hand plays the chords, as we were doing in the verse, and the left hand plays the root note of each chord. So the right hand plays a block chord, so that's the whole chord played in one go, as we did in the verse. So let's have a look at the inversions and the durations of each chord, meaning how long you hold on to them. The only beats the chord are played on in the right hand is beat one and beat four. So it's at the start of, of each bar and in the middle of each bar. So that's nice and easy. So first we play D major in first inversion. For on the one beat of the bar, and we play that for half a bar. So we're counting one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, and then we go to D sus4. So all that's happening is we're taking our thumb on the F sharp to the G. Um, and we play that for the other half of the bar, so four, five, six. And then we go back to the D major, first inversion, as we were before, um, for a whole bar, and we play on one and four. So I'm going to demonstrate those first two bars for you now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's the first two bars of this progression. Next we go to F sharp minor in root position, which really is the same as what we were just doing on the D sharp, but we were, we bring our pinky that was up here on D down to the C sharp here. And then we play that for two bars. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on one and four. And then we go up to G major in root position. And that is played also for two bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're playing, we're going back to the half a bar thing. So we're playing the D major in first inversion for the first half of the bar for one, two, three. And then for four, five, six, we're playing a B minor. And that is in second inversion. So it's voice led to, which means all we had to do was change our A to a B from that D major and it's turned into B minor. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That last bar is an A major in second inversion and that's held for a bar. Remember, articulating on every one and four beat. Okay, so let's go through that whole progression. Um, if you can't remember what chords I was just saying, because there was quite a few there. We start with D major, and then D sus4, those both half a bar, then a whole bar of D major. Then we have uh, two bars of F minor, F sharp minor, two bars of G major, and then half a bar of D major, half a bar of B minor, and then a whole bar of A major. To go back and look at those inversions, I just uh, rewind the lesson a little bit. So I'm going to go through that now with just my right hand and I'm going to try and count as well as calling out the chords. So let's see how we go. So starting with the D major in first inversion. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. F sharp minor. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five G major one two three four five six one two three four five D major one two three B minor four five six and A major one two three four five six. Okay, so practice playing those chords in their correct inversions with just your right hand, um, and playing on the correct beats as well. So remember one and four. And then you can move on to the left hand, which I'm going to go into now. The left hand plays the root notes of each chord um, that we've been learning and with the same durations. So um, if, if the chord lasts for half a bar, then the bass note will last for half a bar before it changes the same time the chord does. Okay, except that the left hand adds some passing notes in there. If these aren't compulsory, if you're a beginner, you may like to just play the plain uh, bass notes, but I'm going to teach for the sake of any intermediate students that might be um, 
watching this, uh, we're going to add in some passing notes just to make it sound a bit cool. So I'm going to start off by just playing that, um, the chorus for you with my left hand and then we'll get into explaining those notes. Oh, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So there were um, three main parts there where we did passing notes. That, so I'm going to go through that with you. So we're playing with our D major and um, chord that we start in with the right hand. We're playing D in the left hand on beats one and four. And we play that for two bars. So we're playing one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three three, four, and then on the five, six, we're going to do another D and an E so that we can go up to F sharp. So we're pretty much playing little scales in between each bass note. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Same, the F sharp goes four times, and then we're going F sharp, F sharp, G, G, two, three, four, five, six, four times again, and then we're going G, F sharp, E, D, and then up to B, and then to A. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 G, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and all the way down to D, two, three, B, and then to A, four, three, four, five, six. Okay, so once you have your hands separately, then you're ready to put them together um, and play the whole chorus through with both hands. So don't rush this. Um, it can be a little bit hard adding those bass notes, the passing notes and the bass notes um, in because they're going against the grain, going against the rhythm of the right hand. But once you have that, it should sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Repeat it. You're in the arms of the angel. May you find some comfort here. And then you finish on the D major in your first version again. So, yeah, I just burst into song there just so you can know whereabouts we are up to in the chorus. Okay, and you should be singing along too. It's a really great skill to have to be able to play the piano and sing. And I encourage you to really practice that. And also it makes it a little bit more fun. Um, so you've learned the chorus, you've learned the verse, and pretty much that makes up the whole song. So well done. There's no bridges to mess with at all in this song. So we'll go to the next lesson where we'll be learning the intro and outro of the song. <laughs>